Good afternoon. This is May 16th, part two of our Armed Force Day celebration. Thank you for all coming. Um, we're going to have the bagpipe players, and I will, I will give them a nod when I want them to play. Um, today is the 16th on Armed Forces Day, and the New Market Town Council and the New Market Veterans Committee honors our wounded veterans. The New Market Town Council should be really applauded. But not only did they sign a proclamation to become part of the Silver Star Banner Recognition Day, they went above and beyond many communities and authorized to, buy, to purchase a flag and fly proudly. There's only two, two cities or towns in the state of New Hampshire that honors the, the veterans in this way to fly the flag. One is Newmark in New Hampshire and one is North Conway. I think town council members on the past board and the present board should be very proud to, to give this honor to our veterans. Councilman Burgeon. Yeah. I asked Councilman Burgeon to come forward to read a small thing about the Silver Star Banner and the Boy Scout Troop 200 after he does this and raise the flag. And as the flag is being raised, the Hyperion Pipers will be playing. Well. Um, Good afternoon. Silver Star Families of America was founded to honor, assist, and speak on behalf of our nation's war wounded and ill heroes. We accomplish our mission mainly by preserving, I'm sorry, presenting Silver Star service banners and a certificate of appreciation for bloodshed and sacrifice for our great country. We also maintain many other programs to assist our homeless veterans, assist the veterans' hospitals, military hospitals, and the general wounded veteran. I'm sorry, veteran population as a whole. Your donation will bring a smile to other heroes and foster goodwill, hope, comfort, and honor. Thank you. Color guarded maps.
we have a past councilman and selectman and Vietnam vet. His name is Mike Bonica. Mike has asked me to say a few words on his behalf. Mike knows that many soldiers, Mike knows many soldiers past and present. Some were injured in war, some lost by battle, and many still suffering from physical and emotional wounds. Some suffer from chemical warfare such as Agent Orange. He wants to thank the town administration for having the flag flown during the town's Memorial Day services, which will also be held on May 30th, next to the Vietnam Moving Wall that's coming in behind the house high school this year. And we hope you all can attend that service as well. His comrades have suffered, and it's nice to see the community recognize them for this service to their country. And this concludes part two of our program, and we wish you all to come inside for the remembrance of those killed in action.